well, <laughs> this is I, what it takes. <laughs> If you guys don't know, we it's, have, wait, it's probably good that, that that camera is covering my head, so honestly, I can't see. I can't see look, it all. Look, look, look. <laughs> it's literally like <laughs> okay, people. This is a podcast. Like, palliative. I should tell people what's happening. <laughs> it's the palliative care princess's last hurrah. Do you know what it makes me think of? It makes me think of the movie Bicentennial Man with Robin Williams when uh-huh. he dies at the end. And then his 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 wife wants to be her machine turned off, and she turns to the robot that's turned humanoid, and she goes, "I'm ready for the machines to be turned off." Galatea, and Galatea goes, "One is glad to be of service." And turns her machine off, <laughs> and she's dead. Yeah, it, I think of the Elephant Man at the end um, when he goes to bed, knowing that um, he will die, and then there's a giant lady's face on the screen that says, <laughs> "I've never seen the says, Elephant Man." It says, it says, um, is that like the Wicker nothing Man? will ever die? Oh. Nothing will ever die. <laughs> That's kind of depressing. <laughs> yeah, it is. Really Part of what makes life enjoyable is that, you know, it's 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 Fleeting. one piece of cake. Yeah, it's not a whole cake. No, yeah. this is how much you have. You yeah, don't yeah. own the bakery. Oh, yeah. You know, That's a good. That's a good. <gasps> oh, my God. What? It's like in the, the TV show Watchmen, which obviously had a huge impact on my life. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where. Dr. Manhattan goes, well, our relationship ends in tragedy. And she's like, well, why does it end in tragedy? And he goes, don't they all? Don't they all? Somebody dies. Yeah. Should we? Yeah, I guess we're rolling. This is it. Why don't you tell them? I mean, this is a podcast. Should we tell them what they're not seeing? Look at this. Wait, they're not seeing this? Well, most people are listening to it. Their commute on the train. Oh, sure, sure. But some a select few. Someone checking the tube vibes. Someone will be watching this, though, so they can see how horrible I look. Um, Just in bed drinking a Red Bull like Kathy Hilton. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that clip? No, no. It's amazing. No. Kathy she, Hilton. It's like she, two a.m. and Kyle Richards is asleep in bed, and Kathy Hilton is up reading a magazine, drinking a Red Bull, and she goes, "Kathy, what are you doing?" She's like, "I'm having a soft drink." Oh and she's like, "That's a Red Bull, Kathy." She's like, "What's a Red Bull?" Oh my yeah, god. It's fierce. Well, we're at we're we're here in Buffalo. We're here in Buffalo. We can say where we're at because we're going to be gone by the time this comes out. We're at the, the fabulous Curtis Hotel. Gorgeous, actually. Super gorgeous Curtis Hotel. The, um, the toilets here? Mama, Girl. heated seats. Heated toilets seats, by honey. Prius. Toilets by, um, no, not Prius. Volkswagen. Toilets by Tesla. It's Hyundai Volkswagen. Toilet. It, oh. Yeah. Warm seat. Warm seat. And you know, I'm so trashy. When I sat down on the heated seat, I went, someone was just in here. I just, I just the same thing. I was like, someone was in Who here. Been shitting on my shitter. Someone's yeah. shitting on my shitter. It's a little warm in here. Well, Brandy, can you turn the air up a little bit for Miss Miss Big over here? Um, so, oh, that's how the air operates? Oh, wow. Do these hands reach in? So there, <laughs> this is a space hotel. <laughs> This, this, Brandon's in here. The claw, the um, claw from upstairs. This place, it has one of those space toilets. It has a front and back bidet. Yeah. So I got my hole cleaned out and my gun, all <laughs> scraped out, power washed. <laughs> took the veneer off. Took the aluminum <laughs> siding right off. Wait, you got your front hole and back hole cleaned out? Yeah. And then it has a butt dryer. Yes, the dryer. I haven't tried it yet, but I I, I looked at it. Let me tell you something. Else. I'm gonna give the feet people something because I'm hot. Okay. Selling feet pics. We gotta go. To, we gotta talk about selling feet pics. But the hot tub. They have you used the spa, the hot tub, the bath. No, not yet. The bathtub. It not only does it have bubbles and it's lights. Jets, jets. When it empties, the jets blow for a while and dry the tub. Jesus what? Christ! Yeah. And, you know, I tell you this though. Once you buy a motel and everyone knows about it, whenever I go to motels now, they roll out the red carpet. I'm not joking. They always, uh, there's a basket. This is the first motel I've been in where there wasn't a basket that says like, we love your motel show. Hope you enjoy our suite. Mm. People are so much nicer to you because suddenly I'm like Gordon Ramsay. Right, right, like, right. Because I opened one motel. Right. Suddenly I'm Tabitha. Maybe I should open up something. My name's Tabitha. <laughs> I'm taking over. Mm. I should open up a coffee shop so that everywhere I go, there's an IV drip full of piping hot coffee you know, going into all my orifices. Well, so the, well, the, it was closed. How long was the line? It was like eight now, or nine. Now, what is long to you? Okay, eight or nine people. Plus, I know- Not, from, not on your life. Would I wait for that? Not on your life. And if if I, I- I wouldn't wait in line for oxygen if I was drowning. No. And I know from experience this morning, it took forever. And I, I'm not a person who likes to wait for anything. If I have to wait more than three minutes, I'll just leave in a huff. 
and I'll bitch about it for the rest of the day rather than solve the problem like a patient normal person. You complaining? <laughs> Speaking of which, we're doing a recap Radio City. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I have a bone to pick with the entire human race. I know. I know. Yeah. I know this you we were you're here. We're doing the HVAC pod once again. <laughs> yes, we're, um, back. we're back on we're our back HVAC, on our HVAC bullshit. bullshit, honey. <laughs> but the thing is we had the incredible honor first let's say we yeah, got yeah. to sell out radio city music yeah, hall yeah. which is one of the largest indoor venues in the world i believe yeah and not only that i mean it's so it it was um we've been doing this show that um uh when when it was written decided um so one of the numbers was inspired by me obsessing over liza minnelli performing new york new york at radio city music hall mm -hmm. you go to youtube you can google it um, what I should have known or should have paid attention to mm -hmm. was the fact that she was sweating through her fucking, she was, she was sweating like she just jumped out of a pool. Now, if we know a couple of things about Liza, we know a couple of things. Number one, she's not exactly the most sober gal in the world. Yeah. She's from the Bob Fosse generation, you know, a couple That's of a goofballs, a couple of goofballs. Yeah. You know, they, the, when she gets tired, they just take a slingshot and they shoot it at her all down her throat. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, we're not joking about no, no, addiction, no. obviously. No, 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 no. And this is not, I mean, anybody knows anything about the sixties and seventies, the doll Valley of the dolls. Have you ever seen Valley of the dolls? People didn't know as Nearly much about drugs. that. She needs another doll. Did you watch the documentary on Adderall? Um, called take your pills. No, I haven't. Adderall was originally marketed to children. The interior conversations were what about speed for children? And they were advertised it as my mom my 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 daughter, Denise, yeah. is gets perfect grades on this pill. Yeah. She's so well behaved and yeah. she's so focused. Basically it's like make your kid the perfect kid. Yeah. But don't you think that would also make kids screaming and crazy? Well, I don't know. You'd have to ask the what the three hundred million uh, kids on Adderall today. That's something else I learned in that documentary. It's like the number nineteenth most prescribed drug in the in, in United States or something. They it's were crazy. saying college kids, Ivy League schools, everyone's on it. Everyone's on it. And they were saying pills are only like two dollars each. I'm like, mm. yeah, that's crazy. Well, that's how I got addicted to it at college. Pills. Yeah, Adderall, Adderall. Adderall specifically. Did you take the pills at first? Um, yeah, because I saw an episode of Desperate Housewives and Felicity Huffman was taking her daughter's Adderall to get things done around the house. I said, ooh, let me try that. Well, thanks, Felicity. Yeah. Look what you've created. <laughs> Desperate Housewives. Yeah. I found out, wasn't Vanessa on that? What is it, Williams? Yeah. You know what? For somebody who abuses your feet, those actually look great. Don't Thank you think? You. Thank you. Do you do the cheese grating on the bottom? I surely you do. do. Oh, wow. I have, a, I have a travel grater with me. Really? Oh, they yeah. They look amazing. Thanks. Let's um, see what I'm serving. Yeah. <laughs> if they were black, uh, <laughs> they might be. They would be I'm amazing. just going to be brave. It's actually oh, it's not great. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the slant, Look though. at the side. That is Put your foot next to mine. so crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's crazy. I know. It's That's, the pointy foot. It's, it's embarrassing. It's so yeah. crazy. It's not okay. It's so wild. There's a lot wrong. Look, I have petite little Cinder Cinderella. What if I had no what if, I, what if my toes had no neck and they were like that? <laughs> like, like this. <laughs> Ooh, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So, so Radio City. Huge, huge. Um, we were saying that it was, it was like a... A huge achievement, mm -hmm. amazing, unparalleled, um, career-defining moment, right? Mm -hmm. And not to mention all of like the 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 amazing people of like the, New York has some incredible fans. G. Lori Cooper, G. Lori Cooper. G. G. It could be G. Lori Cooper. Or it could be Lori G. Cooper. We don't know. We don't know, but it's Lori Cooper, and she she was there. And Lori um, Cooper was there. Gino Birch was there. Gino Birch. Um, Jody Harsh was there. Um, uh, so many people were there. Um, this um. Vanessa Williams came. Are you serious? Yes. Seriously? Dead serious. She was in town and now Queen of the Universe. She's like, I'll come to your short radio series. Incredible. And then um this funny guy that I follow on Twitter that you know who is I um I think his name is Paul, Orange Pulp. So I couldn't funny. believe I so DM'd funny. him and said, I'm so happy we performed on a Monday so that the Twitter gaze would come. <laughs> yes, yeah, Orange yeah. Pulp, he's he has maybe the so him funny. and Rose maybe have the two funniest so Twitters. So funny, so funny. Love Katie them so Delaney's much. up there too. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a few people where every time they tweet, I'm like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So but anyways, so that was a, a great thing. However, <laughs> We go into two days of rehearsal because we have some significant changes in the script we have to work on. Uh-huh, which we didn't get till two days before. We didn't get to two days we before. We said, hey, quick, 
just so you know, Kelly, there's extra monologue. See you yeah. tomorrow. She did fabulous, by the way. Amazing. I don't, side note, I feel so comforted going on stage because it's Kelly's show. Mm -hmm. And yes. we're just there. We're just we're just like window dressing mm -hmm. and she's the main event. Um, but we go to White Plains, New York, to this um, performing arts center on a college for two days. SUNY Purchase. SUNY, is that what it was? At, SUNY, Purchase, SUNY Purchase. Southern State University of New, New York, York Purchase. Purchase. Okay. And it was freezing absolutely freezing mm -hmm. it was so cold the dancers were complaining that's why i know it's really getting juicy when the dancers are complaining when their teeth are chattering yeah yeah when there's like acls are about to get snapped that's when i know they're, it's probably going to be room temperature for me mm -hmm. and then we w go into radio city and it was freezing and then so a funny thing happens during the show it gets so hot that i don't know what to do with myself it was hot in your dressing room too oh yeah i had to change i had to um I had it. We had to switch dressing rooms halfway through the evening because it was. Um, I started to have a meltdown. I started to have a meltdown in the in the dressing room. I had a meltdown too that day. Mm -hmm. Did you really? I woke up just not feeling it. I won't get into it, but I've had some chronic pain issues. Oh, oh yeah. And, <laughs> and I woke up and I had also had a headache, and I said not today. And then I started to have a. How does that materialize for you? Well, hasn't ever happened until um, maybe a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. um, circular, strange, pain, mental, like, oh God, I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I tell David, I said, you need to go on this tour bus with me and you need to take a nap with me. And mm -hmm. I need to wake up a different person. Yeah. And that's exactly what I did. Oh, that's great. Woke well, up feeling great. That's a good... Sometimes if you have a bad day, get back in bed and do it again. You know, start over. That's a really good idea. Seriously. Should try that. Start fresh. Because you... Once the show it was backstage, and I look on your face, I couldn't believe it. I was like, "Do I go say break a leg, or will I get punched in the mouth?" <laughs> that was the look on your face when I came off the stage. So, going on the stage, I was like, first of all, like the meet and greet. Oh, okay. So we go down to do the meet and greet, and I'm noticing the temperature. It is really hot, and I say. And all I see all all of our managers and agents around uh -huh. mill, milling around, basking in the achievement of this glorious moment. As they should. As they should. Once the pig is strapped up <laughs> and air conditioned. Do you know what I mean? Like I know. If it's when 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 babe the pig is <laughs> <laughs> is you know what I mean? Like you can't No, you're right. Once the pig is hoisted and then is is comfortable then you can start like receiving the applause but and not stuff. a moment sooner not a moment sooner and so i was like i need a fan i need a fan and then someone comes and brings this um you know those little those little handheld fans that like the the battery powered fans that people have at their office desks sometimes yeah. as like a joke uh -huh. that's what they 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 taped to the floor at 18 the feet away 18, from me <laughs> 18 feet away pointed at your feet yeah and i was like and then one of the um the one of the producers started to laugh and i said this is not funny Comedy is tragedy plus time. So we're not we're not laughing about the tragedy as it is unfurling. Do you know what I mean? I was there. <laughs> yes. And I picked a meet and greet for this tour that I thought, ooh, this is easy. It's just a little dress. Mm -hmm. It's a full corset. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Pads and, and body makeup. Body makeup. Yeah. Full body makeup. Five yeah. minutes of body makeup. Yeah. But the body crazy. makeup makes it. That's nice. It you looks really nice. You have to put body makeup on if you're going to show your skin. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be a cross-dresser, a goon. A club kid, mm -hmm. a flight attendant, a model, mm -hmm. <laughs> a pro wrestler. Like, there's just some things where if you're gonna be photographed and stuff, just put on the body makeup. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have body makeup, put some foundation in your hand, mix it with lotion. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it makes the look. See, I can't do that because I have tattoos. Oh, my, but but tattoos covers. I just you do. Know. I do all this, and then it blends in. I don't think I've ever had that much problem. Well, tattoos cover a lot. Yeah, but like up here, I always put makeup on. Anything is covering up here. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, tattoos have a great. Uh, 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 <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. We've Don't cover your mouth. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> COVID's over. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, anyways, the show starts, and it's it's a level of stagnant on stage that I have hitherto not experienced. It was bad. It was so hot. It was so bad. Even Kelly was sweating. That's how I knew it was really, really bad. And she never and sweats. she's 70. <laughs> she never sweats. You know how you have, when you have a grandma, you got to constantly put a blanket on her lap? That's Kelly. <laughs> yes. And also the dancers, they're comfortable. So if the dancers are happy and comfortable, mm -hmm. I'm pissed. Oh, when I went, I went to, um, there's a part where I, I, I jump on Michael and he spins me around during my second number. 
drenched, wet. drenched, wet, wet mud, uh-huh. wet, wet mud. Yeah. Well, the good news is, um, due to some <laughs> emergency meetings following the show, we now have air conditioned condos tents. <laughs> Side now on our show, when you walk off stage, there are air conditioned tents with an air conditioner running with our costumes in there. So when you go to your costume change, yeah. there's a crisp sixty degree tent. Uh huh. A, a FEMA it's a trailer. FEMA t- <laughs> it's a it's a hurricane relief pop up tent. It really is. <laughs> It's a, it's an it's I'm Renee Russo in Outbreak. Girl, it twelve is, monkeys. It's totally I'm like Gwyneth Paltrow in Twelve yeah, Monkeys. <laughs> Isn't she in that? No, she's, she is right. She's in um. She's in, she's in Contagion. Oh, she's it's not the first one. She's the first one to die. But there's this is her in Contagion. <laughs> she got to Google it. But she didn't get her Oscar for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's she so didn't amazing. get her Oscar. Ed and I were joking that oh, when she's gonna open the um, she's gonna wake me up one morning and I'm gonna be dead. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna have the most ridiculous expression on like, you know, <laughs> like planning tongue, it. Tongue As out, you like, slip away, you're gonna be okay. Yeah. What's my <laughs> what's my vibe? Yeah, <laughs> yeah love like, that. <laughs> um, but it was sixty six hundred people totally sold out. It was totally unreal and it was um, amazing. Yeah, it was great. And then the really next good. night. Cleveland, you know, to follow Ohio. the high of yeah. Radio City Music Hall mm-hmm. and then to be in Cleveland, Ohio on a Tuesday, it actually was a blast. I had a great all time. all the pressure was off. <laughs> yes. It was like we did this big show and now we can shit on the stage. I had a great and I had a, I had a wonderful time. I have it a good was, time when I'm out there no matter what. It was Crank Tina. <laughs> she came to my dressing room and said, I need you to know you're going on stage with Crank Tina tonight. I said, OK, let's take a break. Let's take a break. We've all heard of gut instinct, but have you ever heard of butt instinct? That's right. It's when your butt tells you it wants new underpants. So please listen to your butt. Listen, honey, we work with Me Undies, who are the makers of the most buttery, soft, and sustainable underpants, bralettes, and socks that ever existed. If you've never tried them before, it's a great time to start because they're currently offering their very best deal in years. Get 20% off your first purchase with free standard shipping and free returns when you go to meundies.com slash bald. Mama, they send me these underpants and they are so silky smooth. I feel, I feel like the Prince of Egypt. Hi. I feel very sexy and wonderful. And they make me feel confident and fabulous and powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So why don't you let your skin sing a song of joy with their underpants, their socks, and their bralettes? Because they feel as if they're spun from silken clouds. <laughs> um, guaranteed the softest stuff you'll ever feel in your life, honey. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, available in all sizes, many sizes, XS to 4XL. Okay. To get 20% off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to meundies.com slash bald. That's meundies.com slash bald. Hi, guys. If you're like me and there's a foreign language that you regret not learning in school, well, I'm here to tell you that it's never too late to start with Babbel. Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, you can finally cross learning that new language off your list. I absolutely love the Babbel Russian language section, not only because I get to learn more Russian, but because it is so helpful with the mechanics of the language, explaining why things are in the grammatical intricacies of a very complicated language that you don't get in other um, language learning apps. With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson so you can start having real-life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts and voiced by real native speakers, not computers. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash bald. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash bald for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. And we're back. So oh, we're I got to talk to you about something else. Yes. Um, I've been reading a lot of graphic novels. Okay. And I want to tell you about a few of them. But I'm not done talking about what I want to talk about. Okay. <laughs> we'll give you a few more minutes. Okay. Um, so... I, 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 I come off of stage uh-huh. and I say, it's not worth it. 
Uh-huh. It's not worth it. I'm done. We're packing it up. The show. Everything. Well, do you realize, I mean, I don't know if this is for everybody's business, but do you realize if we quit the tour in the middle of it, mm-hmm. we would default on it. Mm-hmm. We would owe millions and millions of dollars. Uh-huh. We don't just get to go home without getting paid. No, we, we have insurance. We owe millions of dollars. That's not how that works. But if it does if I have a crack up. There's a Actually, clause. It, there's a, there's, a million dollar, I don't know. There's a crack up clause. Is there? Well. There there's be. a crank Tina clause. <laughs> yeah, no. You get your typewriter, Jessica Fletcher, last <laughs> yeah. minute additions. Yes. Is that her so, name, Jessica Fletcher? Uh huh. Look how gay I am. Look how I'm sitting. I look like, I look. You know what I look like? I what? look like, um, under the Tuscan sun. Diane, Diane Lane. Lane. Yeah. I, don't think but I also so. look like ET. I was more, maybe more of that. More vibe. ET. Yeah. I also. Look, but you've got the shape of Diane Lane. You've been you've the shape been, of water. <laughs> I'm the shape of water. Um, okay, so graphic novels. Well, I've read a few. I'm going to be honest. I read a lot. Okay. I read a lot. Uh-huh. A lot of books in London. All I did was read because I stayed at the Gore Hotel, which had bad just, Wi-Fi. Just electricity. Barely. Almost no Wi-Fi. So I read books like uh-huh. the olden days. <laughs> like, so, yes. Yeah, so candlelight. I read The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, uh-huh. Omnibus 1, 2, and 3. Mm-hmm. Great. But there's a lot of pictures in these books. Yeah, yeah, it's a yes, lot of pictures, a lot of a, words. They're real, yeah, they're real easy to turn. But really cool. I mean, I can't draw. I can't even draw a circle. Mm-hmm. So me looking at artistry, mm-hmm. every page, I'm like, oh, how do they do it? Because I can't draw nothing. Mm-hmm. So I just love it. Um, I read a bunch of. Um, I read a, a, a DC Universe Watchmen crossover called Doomsday Clock, which was su- Superman versus Doctor Manhattan. Love Who it. wins? Ultimately, everyone wins. Oh. It was kind of a fake out, to be honest. Oh, okay, they work together. Yeah. They they yeah. they provide AC for everybody. <laughs> yes, they provide AC for all the girls. Okay. Um, and then I read this series called The Boys, which is apparently a TV series now. I read the whole thing. You don't know not, but you don't know about this one. I don't watch television at all, but you I watched are, the whole. Are, I read the whole you're series. You're such a liar when you Six say that. Six books. I read um, all of them. Um, it's such a great show. Yeah, it's amazing. The book was amazing. I, I ate through probably one one. What do you call it? Omnibus. Omnibus. I don't know. A book. One, it, there's one through six. I read okay. through one a day. You gotta read. You gotta watch the show. It, the show is fantastic. Yeah, it was. It's fierce. it's so bloody and it's so nasty and and rapey. Well, yeah, but I, I mean, mean sexually assaulted, rapey, dark. bloody. It's very violent. dark. Yeah, yeah, very, very dark. Uh, very trigger violent. warning: blood, violence, sexual assault. Everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. But ba- what I liked about it is, well, if superheroes were real, they would be basically like assholes, corporate owned. Yeah. Yeah. Like plus Elizabeth Shue is in the first season. Is she? Oh yeah. Who she play? She plays she's like the head of the um, um That's a great role for her. Yeah. It's I know fabulous. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also like uh, you know, these superheroes are like squeaky clean publicity wise, mm-hmm. but behind the scenes they're like corporate bribes, yep. crime, mm-hmm. sexual assault, drugs. Yeah, it's, uh, it's basically just capitalism. Yeah, because let's be honest, if you're human beings and you had powers that made you untouchable, do you think it would really make you a better person? I don't think I so. I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it. Not in today's climate. Um, but I also like reading about superhero stuff because we are costumed crusaders it's in a true. way. Yeah. We're mostly self-serving. <laughs> yes. But still. Mostly. And I, some of us certainly have our kryptonite. Yes. <laughs> and right now I'm reading, because I'm obsessed with Alan Moore who wrote The Watchmen. Mm-hmm. I'm reading V for Vendetta. Oh, I've never good? watched the movie or anything, mm-hmm. so I don't know anything. Look at the art inside. Just crack it open. I don't know what you call this style. Look how it's like a, all shadowy in like 60s. Isn't that amazing? How do they do this? <laughs> Seriously, I don't know how they make comic books. I know that someone Have draws it. Have you never it. picked up a comic book no, before? No, I've never okay, read comic okay. books. Okay. So I think someone draws it and someone colors it, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Two different jobs. But look mm-hmm. at the coloring in this one. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The pale yellows and the teals. It's gorgeous. So cool. It's Basically, gorgeous. I'm only a few, a few chapters in, but it's about like a, a version of London in 1997 where it's run by fascists. Fishism. Fishism. Anyway, Fabulous. I love it. That's what I've been up to. I just read books now. And you know how I am. When I discover something new, I base my whole personality on it yes. for like six weeks. Yeah. And then I move on. What I particularly love is how you're the first person to ever discover it, though. That's <laughs> that was me. That's really cool. <laughs> that's me making conversation be like, do you know about Batman? People are like, yeah, we all know about Batman. I'm like, I don't know if you know about Batman. Yeah, but no, see, I, <laughs> I read one book. I now know about Batman. What, what, do we, what about a graphic novel, novel of us? HVAC. We could do a graphic novel of this show. Yeah, that's true. It, but but I would have to be in like smell vision and then it'd have to be a packet of moisture at the end of each chapter. To rub on yourself. That you like, do you like squeeze open and it splats you in the face. Or like a little uh, packet of barbecue sauce to rub on <laughs> your skin, like bronzer. 
Yes. I got a Tom Ford, uh, it's like a Tom Ford men's gel bronzing tint because what? I was fake baking for Queen of the Universe. Oh, because yeah. Because my face wipes, you know, take off makeup, takes your fake yeah. bake off so fast. Yeah. So then I was trying to tint it to get it to match. And I would like put it on and then go see myself in the stage. Chicken catchatory. Mary. Chicken catchatory. Teriyaki. <laughs> orange chicken face. Hi. <laughs> Top row of white rectangles, <laughs> bottom row of crooked brown slats, <laughs> chicken chicken teriyaki face, bald head. Oh, <laughs> oh, just uh. oh. I, I, ooh, hold on, where's my ooh. phone? I wrote down a couple of things. I was, I think about you a lot. Wait, 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 what? wait, wait, wait. I have a question. What is your phone's right there? Oh, thank you. What is the opposite of horny? Oh. I had a, I had a, I was in bed last night. I was Did laughing. Did you see me just do this like I have hair behind? <laughs> what, what? I just tucked my hair behind my ears. Like I have long hair. I am so disgusting. It's really like, it's. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. We got to do oh. something. Go oh. on. What's the opposite oh. of horny? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was in the bed last night cracking myself up. Did you ever do that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was I was cracking myself up. On the tour bus, just cracking up. I was I was in the bed alone with the covers up to here, like up to my chin, laughing, crying. <laughs> That's me when the edible hits. Yeah, right, it is. Right. It really is. And I was like, what is the opposite of horny? Because whatever the opposite of horny is right now, that's what I'm feeling, and I feel great. Like I'm not I'm not Are you No. Cuz usually that kind of thought is like a weed thought. Thinking too deep. I did. I did. I did. Yeah, thinking too yeah, deep yeah, about yeah, something that's not, I did. you know. <laughs> like when I get high like that, I'm in bed like, does the mailman deliver his own mail? You know what I mean? <laughs> like shit you should not care about. And I'm like, is that allowed? You know what I mean? Like, like it doesn't make any sense. But you know what I mean? Like, does the mailman deliver? <laughs> I'm like, does the, does the sun make noise? Yes. <laughs> weird shit. <laughs> does <laughs> Probably if you were up close, which you can't be, I bet you it sounds like chicken crackling, like like a like a deep fryer, like, like um like a uh, um uh, uh, uh pork rinds crackling, deep fryer. Yeah. Like, deep fryer. <laughs> have you ever deep fried anything? It, it is. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, anybody who works fast food or anything, if you've ever had a job where you get to use a big fryer and dip like frozen French fries into grease, it's what it's, it's wild. thrilling. It's yeah. I because bet. when you know the ice in the fries when it hits when when frozen water like that hits crackling grease. It spits a lot. Uh -huh. So it's like. That's exciting. It's really. I remember really enjoying it. Okay. And then in, in food service, you blanch French fries where you basically cook them like 80%. Okay. So that when someone wants fries, you just have to drop them and oh, in a couple minutes they're done. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That way gotcha. every time someone needs fries. They're fresh. You have, yeah, yeah. They're fresh. Okay. There's a lot of. Um, do you know about like TikTok of like McDonald's? I don't know anything about food. Okay. Um, so like when you, like you are what you are to books is I'm gonna be to food soon. Learning about how food, how it's made, <laughs> or yeah, and how to eat it. Would you ever want to like? Um, would you ever want to learn to cook or anything? I'm I'm going to. Because now you have a house. Yes, and I have a beautiful kitchen. And let me tell you this: now that you have a house, you're gonna want to just get hungry, I make food, and then not have to find it, buy it. I don't want to leave. Right, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to leave. So I've been purchasing food at the local grocery mart. <laughs> <laughs> Do and they I, know? Yes, they know. Okay. And I've been, well, I haven't been cooking per se. Although the other day, Vina came over and guess what I did? What? I said, are you hungry, ma'am? Let's have some pasta and did garlic bread. It? I did. You cooked I garlic boiled, bread? I boiled the pasta. I heated up the sauce out of a can, uh -huh. out of a jar. And then I, 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 I had a baguette that I sliced and put butter and garlic salt on, put it in the oven. And we took it out. It was very rock hard, probably because it was stale, but it was, we still ate it. I ate it. And it was, I thought it was very delicious. And then I cleaned up the dishes myself. Well, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I think <laughs> Green Chef, not, un, uh, not unpaid, no. unpaid plug. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Green Chef would be sickening for you. Because no. you don't have to go to the grocery store. Then but you get to your house. Okay, but I want to go to the grocery store. You do? Yeah, because I want to go with no bra and a tank top and have someone call me a slut. <laughs> <laughs> go to Gelson's at 4 a.m. like RuPaul. You know she shops at like 4 in the morning. That makes perfect sense. I don't even think they're People open. People that tall. <laughs> She's in there just like, I'll take what I need. I have an account. She, 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 she takes 
a chair. And she's like supermarket sweep. She runs through the aisles and she's like, <laughs> she takes one of the carriages, breaks the window, goes every and morning. Just t- takes what she wants every morning. <laughs> you know. By the way, shout out, uh, shout out, <sighs> friend of the pod, Shangela's on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, I know. Good for her, dude. I think that that is probably the hardest. Thing I was going to, to say. I was going to say. Because Courtney did that too, and I was like, that is a job for the Courtney acts and the Shangela's of the drag world. Girl. Because let me tell you something. Tell it. That job is not fun. No. Every time on oh my a God. television show when I have to dance, it's it's hard. But imagine if Vanderpump told me she's like, basically you're in rehearsal five days a week, 12 hours a day. Oh, yeah. All day. All day. To me, that means injury. Horrible pain uh-huh. and and not uh, the horrible quality of life. And Michelle did Strictly, which I think is similar. Strictly, okay. Strictly, well, Strictly come dancing. dancing. Yeah, it's the UK. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm assuming it's it's probably the same. You thing. probably lose weight. Yeah. Horrible. Get horrible blisters. Horrible, horrible foot pain and every other kind of pain. And the, the because, waiver because if one of these celebrities breaks their leg, like, oh, uh, what, what do you mean? mean? Like, You're gonna sue them? Well. It could, if you really hurt yourself dancing on television, it could mm-hmm. affect your career forever. True. You know, True. so I don't know what they get paid. I hope they get paid good because it looks so hard. There's not enough money in the world for that. I Honestly, would never do it. I would never do it. I could never do it. I yep. wouldn't last one day rehearsal. Mary, I do, t- I do two wiggle numbers in this show and it takes everything I have. Is there like a competition show that's not drag related that you would like to do? Is there Mine like- is Worst Cook Celebrity Edition. Oh yeah. Is there like a hottest sleeper? Where like they just measure the amount of it. sweat that you do while you sleep. Oh, hottest! I thought like sexiest <laughs> no, looking while you sleep. I no, was like, worst. I've seen you sleep on airplanes. It's this. <laughs> you sleep with a permanent frown. It's really. It's like this. Like someone's hurting you. By the way, I I'm I'm botoxed out right now. This. Oh, wait, let me see. Wow, yeah. I need a refresh. And I've been using this. Uh, oh, look. Oh, no. oh, that looks pretty oh, good. Pretty good, yeah. I've been using this chemical exfoliant. I don't want to steal your shine. Let's do a comparison. Oof. No, you look great. You are a decade older than me. Yeah, that's true. Is it eight years? Seven. <laughs> seven? That's ten. <laughs> seven years. I, oh. I, I wrote down a couple things I have. Okay, okay. But wait, 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 wait. What's the opposite of horny? Well, last night Trevor on the bus said frigid. It's not that. Oh, that's Brandon not said that. frigid. Brandon said, but that's not that. That means that means like never, never. That means like not arousable. I would say, Chilling. because being horny is like you're turned on and you're very sexually interested. Like you're looking for it. The opposite of horny is the feeling after you come. Satisfied. It's like when you are done eating because you're full. After you have sex, you're like, Not yeah, hungry. I'm cool to never do this again. Right. What you is know? that? What is it's that? Like every hookup, you're like, why did I do that? Yeah. I, but I've been having that feeling for like the last two days and I love it. You do? Oh my God. Not being horny. Yes. I go through phases. Yeah. I go. Th- I just saw David for two days, so we immediately did it. Mm-hmm. But you know, <laughs> we immediately, immediately did it. Did it. Um, I wrote down some notes. One of them okay. says, I love my job. <laughs> what the fuck that means? Um, oh... <laughs> Oh, we have to talk about the service in the UK. We have to talk about the service in the UK. What kind of service? Food service? The, the, yes. the, 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 uh, okay. I understand that in America, having people in the service industry work for tips, it's a hot subject. Some yes. people, when I, when, I, when I was a server, I loved the fact that I left with cash and my good service meant I could get rewarded for it. You know right. what I mean? Yes. Yeah. But you could say it's unethical to have people work for $3. It depends who Absolutely. you talk to. Depends yeah. who you talk to. Yeah. But in the UK, they don't work for tips and they don't care to come back to you. No. You can go in and sit down until you flag someone down. Mm-hmm. They're like, and what the hell do you want? <laughs> You're like, well, can I order? They're like, <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Collins and I got bread at the Ivy and we asked for, she asked for bread plates and the guy went, like he looked aback and he came back with one bread plate. There was two of us. It was so crazy. It was so crazy. Everywhere, I mean, it was just, it's just a different world. Cause in America, I would say that they are overly taking care of you. Yes. It's, you How still are you work, today? You're what still can I working get on that. Yeah. 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 It's too much. It's, yeah. But in the UK, you need to do 
like um, desert island, human skulls spelling out help <laughs> in order to get a salad fork. So like, what is the truth? It's got to be the truth. It's got to be people who are available and happy to help you, but they're paid well enough that they're not like. Right, 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 you know? right, 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 right. Yeah. It was wild. Damn. I don't recall. I don't recall that. I guess I just every UK experience I have, I try to block out. Well, that's they, it's a, it's a it's a double edged sword though because I have changed my tune on food in the UK. You love it. I had wonderful food everywhere I went. Oh, great! This is the secret. I let people pick the restaurants, and they pick, took me to places I would have never picked myself. Okay, okay. Michelle Collins took me to an Israeli restaurant. Okay, I was like, oh well, the, god, they, I'm not gonna like it. I'm not gonna recognize any of the food. Worked me out. Well, the 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 key about English food is that you don't eat English. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> eat Indian. You eat Indian, yes. and the in, the Indian and food I've had in London is like beyond. It's beyond Israeli restaurant food, which is uh, I was it told to me it's basically Mediterranean but a little different. Mm -hmm. It was so delicious, and uh -huh. when I was in Israel, I think I ate at McDonald's. Like, so <laughs> See, maybe that's your problem. So yeah. I think I just need to take more trust falls when I'm when I'm traveling, yeah. and yeah. and try not to have. The problem is I travel and I want the same food I eat at home. Yeah, no. That's and that's not, not realistic, happen. is that's it? Not <laughs> I don't think that's very realistic at all. <laughs> Let's take a break. Let's take a break. <laughs> Hi, it's Trixie, and I want you to know I'm obsessed with independent businesses. I love independently employed massage therapists. I love hairstylists. I love people who make bracelets. I love anybody who basically creates their own space in the world. You know, I mean, it takes a lot of bravery and a lot of elbow grease to start a small business. And I got to tell you, the more tools you can get in your hand, the easier it's going to be. Squarespace is sponsoring today's episode. And Squarespace is a service where you can create your own website with tons of tools that are very useful to a brand new business like you or an existing business or a business that's going through a rebrand. I mean, Having basically your digital storefront be really strong and controlled by you. I mean, I've had situations where I've had my own website that I operate and I've had situations where I have somebody else build it and I have to depend on someone every time I update it or I want to run a sale or I want to like change up the look of it. And I'm telling you, having the keys to your own vehicle is so much easier even if you do not have the best graphic design skills or the best like technology skills, I'm telling you, Squarespace makes it easy. And some of my favorite tools include the e-commerce tools. And if you're like a brand new business getting off the ground, there's e-commerce templates, there's inventory management, there's a really easy checkout process. It's very secure payments. Whatever you want to do, Squarespace has merchandising features to make your products look their absolute best. Another thing I'm really obsessed with is analytics. As a small business, you are going to be obsessed with data. You're going to be looking at your sales every day. You're going to look at traffic uh, on the website. You're going to look at how your promotions did. You're going to look at what areas of the world people who are shopping with you are living in. Analytics like that is so powerful and you can gain these powerful insights. You can look at who's visiting your site, how they interact with your website. It's really, really amazing. It's just like, it feels like you can see the future somehow because you can so accurately track the past. One other thing too, the websites are mobile optimized, which let's be honest, most of the time if I'm shopping, I'm like at an airport on my phone. You know, I, I would say that I almost never view websites on a computer. So it's important to me, like on my Trixie Cosmetics website, for example, it's important to me that it looks just as good, if not better on a phone than it does on a computer. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bald and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. You guys, I'm telling you, being able to have your own website under your own control is absolutely a gift you should give to yourself. Go to squarespace.com slash bald and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. I got to tell you, I can get stuck in a cycling, cyclical, cyclone-like panic about things that I know deep in the back of my head are not that important or not panic worthy because nothing really ever is. But I got to tell you, just going about it with a new mindset can change everything, right? It can be tough to get your brain to stay in like a problem solving mode when you have a problem, right? You have to kind of just embrace it. 
A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals no matter how big or small. I gotta tell you guys, talking about things, talking, I'm talking to myself even sometimes is my way out of these things, but talking in a therapy environment to someone else who can help is amazing. It's amazing. What inspired me to try therapy was I love my partner. I love my partner. However, it's not fair that he gets dumped on about every little thing in my life. And some things it's just better for me to take to someone else, you know? It's great to get professional help with these things. And it just makes me less stressed out. It makes me feel like when I feel these ways, I know a way through it and I know a way to handle it. And I'm confident in my ability to see myself through it. No panic feeling, no stress feeling is permanent. It feels like forever when it's happening, but I'm telling you it isn't. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. You can get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey. And something I like about it is sometimes with therapy, the first just approach to it is the hardest part. And so the fact that it's accessible from your phone, from your computer, anywhere, it eliminates any sort of like first time jitters of seeking help. When you want to become a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash bald today and get 10% off your first month. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash bald. Some of the other cultural things, we're back. Uh, Cultural things I experience. Would you like a Diet Coke or full fat? Oh, full fat is the full best. Full fat. Full fat is the best. Full fat. Full fat full Red fat. Bull. Do you want mm. full fat Red Bull? Yeah, full fat. Always fat. Full fat. It's disgusting. Why don't we say sugar? I don't full know. Full fat? Do you want it? As if there's going to be lard floating <laughs> in the top? Like Crisco? It's going to be It's a solid. It's a solid cylinder of just lard. That you have to like suck through the can opening. Because it's not fat free Red Bull. It's no, sugar, it's sugar free. free. So well, then why is it full fat? I think because they know that like the sugar becomes fat. They want the Americans to be like, yeah. So you, you want the fat. So you want the fat, you big fat fuck. Yeah. Also, not to call anybody out. The grinder there. H and H. The H and H in London, oh my God. the high and horny is 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 it's, unchecked. It's huge. It's, it's a huge issue. Well, I guess I hope they're that, doing. I hope that the gays there get get the help they, they need. I guess they're doing methadrone now too. No, there's what's like that? a new. There's like an or it's it's not new, but it's like a drug. Um, it's a stimulant. As drug. I chug my Red Bull, I'm like, yeah. people are gross. <laughs> well, <laughs> this me, is full fat. I'm gonna look it up. Oh yeah, that's the only way. Sugar free Red Bulls. Is Hatch and hatch, babes. Mephidrone. I just hope the people find the help they need because, geez. Um, Mephidrone is um, ooh, white magic, meow, meow. Oh, see, see that's, that's cute. a fun name, That's though. cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they got to call things scary. They gotta, drug dealers got to do their duty yeah. by calling the drug scary names. Yeah, like um, certain death. A black stallion. That sounds fun. Yeah, that sounds great, actually. You know? Yeah. So it's... um. It's, it produces uh, effects similar to MDMA, amphetamines, and cocaine. Okay. See, yeah. that sounds like a sex drug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, H and H is it's tough. The other thing I have to talk to you about is I haven't been keeping up on Celebrity Drag Race, although I'm quite jealous that you did it because I found the first season to be very enjoyable. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. Yes, let's talk about that because it just we came gotta out. We got to talk about your outfit. No, no, no. We got to talk about everything. We, we got to talk, talk about, about everything. Your I'm going to put them on blast right now. I, 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 I support you, and I actually thought she hated it. And I thought my taste level, I said, I bet I'll like it. When I saw you in it, I said, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? I don't know. So my partner, um, whom I actually happen to know of, oh. thank God, because he, I'll just say that he appears in um, a show that I'm very familiar with. Thank God, uh -huh. because I was not familiar with several of the other people. And I love him, by the way. Um, and he said that he had proposed we do Britney and Madonna. Oh, which would, would have, have been, been great. perfect. Who would you have been? Madonna, Madonna obviously, because okay. then like, well, because he's much younger than me. Oh, is he? Yeah, oh. yeah, he's much younger than me. He's like twenty five or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that would have been amazing. Me against the music. Hey, oh. Britney. Do you know what I mean? It would have been perfect. That would have been so fun. It would have been so so fun. Instead, they have us do this act. The subtext of which is a little R A P E Y. Oh, really? In what way? Well, we were Avon sales ladies oh. selling cream that makes men take their clothes off. I, it's, it's. I don't think it's. I mean, it's, it's comedic drag dancing. 
Well, that's you know what I mean. The it's, subtext it's not, is not the problem. The problem was the whole number. You're not in Lost. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's not a dramatic. <laughs> You're lost. <laughs> I was gonna say but the, but pro- the, the real problem. The, the outfits. outfits. Brittany uh, and Mad- Brittany Madonna would have been so fun. It would have been so great. This number was so boo boo. The 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 costumes, purple and red. Purple Girl, I, and not, red. I hate those two colors together and red. so much. Never in my life, never in my life would I ever purple and pink. I don't wear purple. Do you know what a red hat lady? I don't is? wear purple. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I'm do purple. Uh huh. I don't ever do purple, really. I mean, that there's one time in my life where I've worn purple. Purple is one of those colors. It's hard. I like a lilac. Sure. She has a blonde. I think it makes my hair look really buttery like that. But see, I don't like pastels. Okay. Jewel tone purple. It's fabulous on like deep skin. Sure. Middle, not on medium me. skin. Yeah. Very fair skin. It's just not the color. No, no, it's not. The, the costumes were so gross and the hair was so matronly. And it was just like that, it, wig. that wig was so off. Why did they do that to you? Uh, they really did me dirty. But how about this though? How about this? Um, so I agree to do the thing because it sounds like fun. Yeah. And um, and then I get the schedule. Tell it. My call time was six a.m. in drag <laughs> to get picked up. Face no. done. 6 a.m. in drag. No. So I said, okay, will you be shipping the methamphetamine to my apartment the <laughs> night before? Or how the should we fat red how bull? should we broach this? Yeah. Um guess what time I went guess what time I was on camera? Eleven AM. Are you saying you were in drag for five hours before anything happened? Mm-hmm. Was it rehearsals? Why were we there at six in drag? Was it rehearsal? They wanted me to do a ten second run through. Like, you know how they do it, like, um, checking in on the, the diva as she gets painted? Mm-hmm. They wanted you to seconds. do, like, uh, is everything seconds. okay? All right, cool. Yeah, how's it going? 10 seconds. Who did the makeup this season? Um, They worked those girls out. Yeah, I think it was, like, Mayhem, um, Layla, May- something like, I'm not sure, I forget. But, like, a couple of, a few drag queens, yeah. Great thing about celebrity drag races is they get real drag queens, which, honestly, any show you've seen where it's bad drag makeup? Yeah. What's that show? Um, the divorce show with, with Jonathan Taylor, Tom, the divorce show, Neil Patrick John- Harris. Oh, 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 uncoupled, 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 not Jonathan Taylor Thomas. John- <laughs> the divorce show with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the Netflix show with uh, Neil Patrick Harris, the drag queen in that. Yes, that's an example of a union makeup, makeup artist person doing drag, who's like googling someone. drag and then getting a, buying a glue stick at CVS. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you look at like Vanessa Williams on Celebrity Drag Race. You're like, okay, a drag queen did that. Yeah, totally. It's a big difference. Yes, there's a big difference. Also, Mark Layla and just won an Emmy. She sure did for We're Here. Layla Six and Luscious won an Emmy for makeup for We're Here. That is so it's sick. incredible. That means yeah. every makeup job they ever get, they'll be able to ask for more money. Mm-hmm. Emmy award, Emmy award winning makeup artist. It was the hard. It was one of the hardest gigs I've ever done. I don't blame you. It's no, I know, I know, I know. But it was like it's a fun gig. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was so. It was so <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. The one thing I will say, the one thing, is keep keeping it back to HVAC. Uh huh. Get bring it back home. When you know, I, the, there is always a silver lining when you know that RuPaul is in the vicinity. Uh huh. Because I am not happy to see RuPaul, although I am. You know, I'm always happy to see RuPaul. I'm more happy to feel RuPaul, not literally, but I'm more happy to share the air with RuPaul. The air con. Because I know that if RuPaul is in there, I'm gonna be okay. Yeah. Of course. 50 degrees. Sickening. 50 degrees. I think of her as a canary in a coal mine. I think of her as an ice sculpture. Do you know what I mean? She's an ice sculpture. She will melt and you ha- it has to be perfect. In the coal mines, yeah. if there's coal in the air that bird yeah, dies, yeah, 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 if yeah. RuPaul's in there, that means it's safe for me to go in there. <laughs> it's a safe space. It if is. you call yourself an LGBTQIA plus space and you don't have air conditioning, you're a liar. You are, you are a liar. You're, you're, a liar. Are, you're harming gay people. How does it feel to cut to kill gay people? And just and just do the dra- drag queen call time should be the last minute. I'll tell you this: I will always show up absolutely ready yes. and on time. Yes. So don't fuck with me, Maria. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. And don't, don't do that thing where you lie me. to me and say because you didn't know I was going to come on time. I will be there on time. Don't do that. Don't elicit do me. Don't, don't elicit me. me. Don't Valentina me. Yeah. And don't Shangela me. Don't like. I will show up. 
if you tell me the time, I will be there. But also, and, and here's the thing is like, um, this happened um, with another, whatever, whatever. Um, it, this is a drag queen production. Like when it happens, that like when you're a guest on like Grey's Anatomy or something, I totally get it. Because they don't know. They don't know. They don't know that your beard grows in by the by the minute. They they think you're Ellen Pompeo, you know, and that you can just sit around in a gorgeous trailer and be amazing. You know, like you can look, you'll look from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'd look the same. Yeah. That's not the case. But they don't know that. So you understand. But they know exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And so there's no excuse. And that makes me so angry. There's no excuse. But, you know, even Van Vanderpump was telling me they're shooting uh, Vanderpump Rules. And she was like, I have them basically. She's like, I refuse to go in and like sit there while other people film scenes. She's like, I'm always on time and I come ready. So tell me the exact moment and yeah. I will be there. Yeah. You yeah. can count on me. Yeah. Yeah. My God. <laughs> well, here one we other thing. What is it? I've been having sex in my butt. I know. It's great. You know, it's a second act for you. Yeah. It's a bloody second act. <laughs> It's a little Do like you have the any suggestion. Well, I wouldn't say that <laughs> what I've done with my asshole has led me down absolutely like fruitful paths. <laughs> but my advice to you is no fingers. No, I don't like that. When people are like, start with the finger, I'm like, with no. a fucking fingernail on it? Are you no. Jack the Ripper? No, no. They pull their finger out. I look like a carved pumpkin. <laughs> like, no. We're not doing that. I hate that. Absolutely not. No. Um, this is like some real shit. I know people who have a really tight butthole who, if a guy's coming over that they know they're going to have sex with, they will like. They pre-fuck themselves. Yeah. 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 And I, I think that probably is good for people who are trying to get used to it. I don't know. I'm a bottom, but half the time I don't even want to do that. <laughs> so like the problem is like. I'm in a relationship, so like most of the time, when you're when you're having a relationship sex, not every time is yeah the the Avengers right right. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just like a little like, can we do this where we're both on our backs and mm -hmm. the lights are on and we're watching television? You know, like <laughs> it doesn't have to be an event, you know. And then I don't like to do full sex with strange men. Uh huh. So the, the, like, I don't know. Getting fucked in the butt is a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot. I got to tell you, I am susceptible to a lot of services that require me to start a recurring charge, okay? I can think of things over the years. DJ equipment, gym memberships, I mean, uh, on and off with things like the PlayStation Store, the Nintendo Store, and I will forget that I'm paying for something because I'm so busy working and I just won't really pay attention to these tiny charges going every month and it all really adds up. The other day, I realized I've been paying for the Nintendo Store on my Switch without even traveling with my Switch for probably four or five months. I mean, it's a waste. It's just a waste and I just don't realize. I mean, I love Nintendo, but if I'm not using it, I don't always remember that I'm not using it. Are you wasting money on subscriptions? Because 80% of the people who have subscriptions have forgot all about it. Maybe for you, it's like an unused Amazon Prime account or a Hulu account and you just never use it. And there's this great app that I use to keep track of all my expenses. And it was formerly known as Truebill, but now it's called Rocket Money and it's just bomb, you guys. I mean... Katya found out she was subscribing to an OnlyFans that she wasn't even using. I mean, I'm going to tell you, a lot of these services and companies and products rely on you forgetting that you signed up for it. And Rocket Money is a great tool. This app shows all my subscriptions in one place and cancels what I don't want for me. I mean, some of these, I didn't even know how to begin canceling them. And there's a button where the app can generate the, the cancellation of the subscription for you. It's so gaggy. I was subscribed to... Serato, um, which is like a DJ software, but I use Rekordbox now and Serato was going for months before I realized $10 a month. I mean, for the rest of the year, what if that had run another year? That's $120. I mean, come on. Cancel unnecessary subscriptions with Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash bald. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash bald. Guys, I have it on my phone and the little updates I get being like, are you actually using this is life changing. Wholeheartedly, you guys, it's an intuitive money app that just by downloading it saved me money. Go to rocketmoney.com slash bald. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash bald. Our next partner is a product I use every single day on tour. 
I started taking AG1 because nothing is more irregular for my diet than touring. Every day it's a different city, different like schedule, you know, everything is up in the air. I don't have access to this, my own fridge. I don't have access to my own grocery store. And having something like AG1 in my life to get my body together, get my digestion together, it's fierce. And in tour, it's hard. Like I want energy. I want gut health. I want immune system strength. But it's just, I'm just not like a, a vitamin person or a pill person. So what is this stuff? With one scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics, and adaptogens to help start your day right. I also really love it because I run every morning and I hate running on an empty stomach and it feels great to just get my AG1 and a glass of water in my body. I drink it first thing in the morning. I mix it with water. I have it on the tour bus. It's easy for me to just pour the packet into like a bottle of water, shake it up, drink it, and then I'm ready to step off the bus and go on my little run. It's great for me because I don't always have the healthiest eating habits. I don't always have the healthiest food choices. And so AG1 is a great way for me to get some base level nutrition in my life. I would describe the taste as fresh. What I also love about it is AG1 comes in, for when I'm home, AG1 is in like a canister. But on tour, I have the individual packets, which makes it really easy for me to just keep some in my fanny pack, keep some in my room on the bus. It's lifestyle friendly. So whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, I mean, I'm vegetarian, totally works for me. It contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals or artificial anything, and it still tastes great. Athletic Greens was actually created when the founder experienced a ton of gut health issues and ended up on a complicated supplement routine to recover. It cost him $100 a day. Meanwhile, AG1 is less than $3 a day. Cheaper than your coffee situation. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash T-B-A-T-B, like the bald and the beautiful. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash T-B-A-T-B to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. First of all, here's what I have some, I'm not starving myself. I'm not doing any of that. I'm not doing any whole like colonic irrigation systems. I'm Absolutely say controversial. not. If you need to, like the joke about like I'm a bottom, so I have water for dinner. No. If if that's, eating no. any food means you are having loose stool, you need to go to a gastroenterologist. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And I have had. I'm very aware of my digestive system, and I and I and I know that if I just go in there with the the shower head, boop boopy doop. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine, and there's no no problem so far. You, I mean, you're not getting fracked. No, and you're I'm not getting, getting irrigated. Fisted. No, I'm not getting fisted. I love that your friend group. You can't ask for bottom advice because they're like, start with the elbow. I can't. I can't. Like, well, it's like, well, can you get up to the knee yet? Like, no, I can't no, get I can't. the foot in there. It's it's. They're not helpful. They're not helpful. When one like, yeah, it's not helpful. But it's fun. It's enjoyable. It's fun. It's. A lot of things have to be in the alignment, though. Like, yeah, not be, you want to be like not tired. I don't know. As I get older, I'm more interested in sex in the middle of the day. Mm-hmm. After dinner, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm old, but I don't have sex in the morning. David used to always want to have morning sex. Ugh. And I'd be like, it'd be like nine in the morning, and I'd be like, whoosh, whoosh, <laughs> you karate chop across the bed. Like, get out of here. Scat, go. I'd like <laughs> yeah, chase him off the porch of the broom. <laughs> get out of here. Go on, get. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, gorgeous Demauer is cute. <laughs> what do you love about your new house? The fact that I'm Lady Freeze. I'm Lady Freeze. Are you air conditioned out? Is I it am, central? I am Lady. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lady Freeze. Remember the heat wave that just happened? Uh-huh. Now, oh, no, you weren't there. To you. You, were, you weren't there. I, I wouldn't know. Because <laughs> I was like this. <laughs> It was so hot in London too, though. And it was 95, 104 one day. I stepped out onto my gorgeous deck to pick a lemon from the tree and went back into the icebox and made lemonade. Girl, let me tell you, one of the fanciest things about living in LA, if you have a lemon tree, make a little gin and tonic or whatever. Mm-hmm. Let me just go pick a lemon. Yeah. I grabbed Slice it. 10 limes off of what the What did tree. you do with them? It's like a hostage situation. You know. <laughs> I'm going to make the tree leave me a half a million dollars and I'll give them their lemons back. <laughs> yeah. Meyer lemons. 
I'm you love it? Fresh limes. I'm obsessed. I got a giant. I don't even know what it's called. It's like a carafe, but it has a spigot on it. And you put the lemons in there? I squeeze them all into there with tons of ice and water. No sugar. That's not lemonade. No, 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 no. That's limeade. No sugar. No sugar. Oh, that's My not lemons. Lemonade. You're are, drinking lemon no, 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 water. No, no, no. My a lemonade. These Meyer lemons are so flavorful. They're like the size of grapefruits, and each one yields about that much juice. You're going to do the Master Cleanse? It's so delicious. You don't even need sugar. Do you know about the Master Cleanse? It's bullshit. Yeah, the cayenne pepper. I think it's cayenne pepper, maple maple syrup, syrup. and lemon juice. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. Doesn't it? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's It's lunacy. It's lunacy. Those people are lunatics. Lunatics right over there. Fasting is okay. Might as well just do fasting at that point. You might as well. You know? Yeah. It's just you're great. You're crazy. You might as well just eat right. Well, <laughs> feet, feet picks, feet picks. Well, thank you for joining us thank today. You for joining us. Yeah, and, we'll um, see you again very soon. We're on the we're on the road. We're heading to we're doing a show in Buffalo tomorrow. Yeah, if you want to come see us, we're playing all over the United States and Canada. Canada, next, mostly Canada this month. Mostly Canada, and then uh, we'll be coming over to Europe and the UK. We're playing everywhere in Europe and the UK, yeah. including Wembley Stadium in London. Yeah. And the, God, we'll be doing this till Christmas. Yeah. Get into that. Get into it. Happy holidays. I have been grabbed. I mean, this is coming from me. This is coming from a hardcore workaholic. I'm not talking out of my ass. I've been telling everyone when this tour is over in the spring. I know. We're not doing this again. No. Not on this level and not for this long. No. COVID changed me. I'm I a know. homebody. Yeah. I want a husband, a home, a pet, mm. and cable. Do you realize? I want to like get the mail. Do you realize? I want to get a Zumba class. Do you realize what it took to get me out of the place? I have a brand new car, a brand new house, a brand new person who's been doing sex to my my decrepit body, mm-hmm. central air conditioning, a Meyer lemon tree, gorgeous cable, a new Game of Thrones show, a lovely rug, a new bed frame, a brand new mattress, mm-hmm. see Joe's sheets, three jets coming out of the horizontal part of the bathroom just like in here. Wow. I love my life. I know. And I hate it right now. I'm just kidding. I'm just no. kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't hate it right now, but it's challenging. I like being on stage. I Everything else stage, is just yeah. part of it. It's just part of it that I could take or leave. I don't like getting in drag. I don't like sleeping on a bus, you know, but I like doing the show. That's it. Yeah. I love sleeping on the bus. I'm lying. I love it. You do. Oh, reti- have my little half sip of wine and then retire to the back bus where I read my little book and go to sleep like this. We've been having piss and shit smells. On the bus? Yeah. Are people shitting on the bus? They're not shitting, but it smells like it. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we'll see you next week.